All right, hey everybody. Um, this is the uh, part two of my last video. This one's gonna go into a lot more detail in the media stuff and uh, how I control my computer and stuff. Seems like a lot of people are interested in that. So, um, in the last video, I actually booted this computer with Wake Over Land. It's I W O L for the app name. It's like two dollars and it's a great app. Like you can start it. All you have to have is your MAC address off your uh, Ethernet address, and uh, you put that in there. You can do Wake Over Land. That actually, or over LAN, you don't need any like IP addresses or anything. But for the way you do it over the internet, you do it on your iPhone or on your 3G uh, iPad or whatever else. Um, you have to have your MAC address, your IP address, and port 7 forwarded. And when you have those things and your BIOS setting enabled, you can boot it up really quickly from wherever. Anyway, so my computer's on. I have a sub NZB server running, and it, it actually automatically downloads. Uh, TV shows and uh, whatnot I want to watch uh, by an RSS feed and updates everything by uh, uh, whenever they come out in their own HD. So uh, here's my actual client for NZBs. As you can see, so there's a new episode of Tosh.0 and a new episode of V. And it's, let's see if it's downloading. Yeah, it is downloading. Sorry, it's a little blurry. So let's see, it's kind of hard to read, but yeah, it's only at 2 megabits per second. Um, does everything automatically. Uh, then say I want to search up something. Um, so I have NZB Matrix, that's the main one I use. You have to have an account, you have to pay for it to be able to use it through this app, though. Um, I'm just going to say, uh, let's see, I'll use my other hand. Um, let's say StarCraft, just to give you a preview. Whoops. Ooh. Okay, so I typed in StarCraft. And a bunch of GSL videos and stuff are loaded up. Um, mainly just videos. There's not like... Um, I mean, they do have a lot of games and stuff on here too, but I guess not StarCraft. But anyways, that's it. it they have a lot of stuff on there. It's pretty cool. I just click on there and it actually start on my computer and download automatically and save it and organize it for me. Um, so let's see. Every air is a. It's a little blurry, but it's a. Um, uh, what's it called? It's like a VNC viewer of your computer, but it's better with uh, like flash and stuff. Let me show it real quick. Uh, hopefully it's. Oh, it's the wrong IP address. Let me change it real quick. Okay, so got the IP address right, and I'm going to connect, trying to connect, I haven't tested this in a while, so I hope I have the server running on my computer, I might not actually have it running right now, I'll show this later on, yeah, it looks like it doesn't have it on right now, I don't really feel like messing with it, it's not, I, I personally, the team viewer is the best one I've ever used, um, it's not the best for video and stuff streaming but it's the best for simplicity so you just get a number off your computer and you you can either set a password or um, it actually creates a dynamic one like every time I have the one just made though I hope you didn't see that whatever I have to change my password now but yeah here's my computer um, so you can see it moves around and stuff uh, it's really really well done um, it does. You don't have to do any like network configurations, which is awesome. Um, that's the main reason I really like it. You can set it up on grandma's computer, or someone you know, like your parents, if they're like having issues, and you can't really walk someone like that through how to set up a port for forwarding and stuff. So, this is the easiest way to do it. Get out of this. Okay. Um, let's see, my Wi-Fi. Um, I have it installed on here because I this is actually a three G, but I don't. I don't. Uh, I didn't pay for the plan. Um, so on my Y, uh, whoops. What's really cool about it is they have the iPhone four and the, uh, or I guess like any iPhone with the iOS four, and the iPad, iOS four, uh, native on here. And so you go. So you want to set up like this my Y demand. It was like an extra five dollars. The program itself is twenty dollars unless you've already had it before. It's only ten dollars. 
So it is a little pricey. It's about $25 if you're getting it new, but it's worth it, honestly. Um, so I have my Y on demand. So what it does is, uh, if this, if my y, uh, my iPad cannot detect um, internet or a 3G connection, it'll actually um, automatically connect to my phone's internet connection. Pretty cool. You gotta have it installed on both of them and set up, but it's really easy to do. Uh, let's see what else I want to show. I want to show my media a little bit. Um, let's see. What did I not go into detail last time? Uh, let me go into Air Video real quick. Let me make sure something. Just one second. Okay, so. Oops. Okay, so here is. So that's actually my computer right there. Um, so I'm going to go to my movies folder. And, uh,. It just it loads all my videos from folders and it updates like continuously. So if you if you have something like that NZB stuff, like my TV shows, um, it'll actually uh, detect the new folders no problem. See, so like these Tosh .0s, I've reorganized how it uh, or, uh, <laughs> puts everything in here now. But this is what it was doing before. It makes a folder for each one, which isn't that big a deal because I can just organize it later on. Yeah, see, these are all from automatically downloading. Oh, it's 720p. And it plays like great quality. And you can actually play this over um, the internet too. So, let it load for just a second. That's weird, my volume button's not working. What the hell? Okay, there we go. And let's see here. What else do I want to show? Uh, last time I was trying to show some um, some note-taking apps. Um, the last one I was recommending was Belishka. This one here is actually made by a Red Editor. Now, after using it for a while and testing a bunch of other ones like Penultimate, Evernote, um, A Note, Note Plus, and stuff. Uh, Belushka is nice and everything. It's it's definitely not the best though, and it's kind of pricey for what it is. To tell you the truth, oh, oops, sorry. Um, the one I've been using now that I really like is Note Plus. Um, this is something. Yeah, so I have all my folders configured for each class. There are my two solids, fluids, and circuits. So I'm just gonna go into let's say circuits. Um, and here's the notes that I made yesterday. Uh, just really easy to use, and it's a little little better than I feel like the other. Wait, let me find my pen real quick. It's a little better than the other ones because it's got some cool features, like this pen pad, palm pad. Uh, it's not actually working right now. I don't know why, to tell you the truth, but it, I can't get it to scroll up anymore. But um, the other ones, like, you have to zoom in and stuff to be able to do stuff well. Um, this one, I mean, you have to, like, hold down and have, like, the zoom box essentially open and to do anything with any kind of accuracy. This one, you can just zoom in and keep writing on here. And there's no limit. Like, the Belushka has a limit on how much stuff you can actually do like that. Like, uh, write directly on there. You've got to do it inside of a box where it makes it, like, one giant image. Because it can't have, like, a ton of images loaded. This one doesn't have that issue. And this one can also do the... Uh, the box type loadout. Um, actually, like this one a lot more too. I'm just gonna scribble some crap. But say like, see how I'm running towards the end. It it shows like the next. See how the box is lined up. This right here is actually that right there. The difference. So if you run out of room on one word and you want to keep going, it'll like load it right here and you just keep writing. And then if you sh see, just continues it. Um, this box is a lot smarter than the other ones I've used. Uh, that's one of the things I like about it. Uh, and you can also have some like, oops, it's got some shape detection stuff. That stuff is a little annoying, but you can disable it and like uh, configure it how sensitive and stuff you want it. Um, but yeah, it's a great app, definitely for college students and stuff. And you really, really need a stylus though. Um, these kind of programs, you have to have one. I mean, these notes, like, I have bad handwriting, but this is very, like, easy to read for me.
which is nice. And this also syncs up with uh, Google Docs. So if you need it online or whatever, it puts it all on there for you. Get out of that. Uh, what else did I want to show? Let's see here. So if y'all haven't seen it, the, the, I read, or the Alien Blue HD is a great app for browsing Reddit. But if you're in this, I'm sure everyone's already like recommended it and stuff. But yeah, it has like a pane over here with all the front page or whatever. You can actually change it into what categories you want to load it in. Like my favorite are like StarCraft, um, Science, iPad, Climbing, Engineering. Those are the main ones to go to. So just load it up right here. Very nice, very clean interface, and it loads pretty damn quick for what it is. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else I should show. Um, Atomic Web Browser. Uh, I really like it. Um, it's a lot better than Safari because it has uh, actual tabbed browsing. And you can actually make like background tabs load while your open tab is going. Only problem with it is the iPad doesn't have that much memory. So when you start having more than like, I'd say like five tabs open with you know a lot of stuff on it, it, uh, it can actually start having issues with memory. Um, I set it up in the settings. You can actually make it so it uh, it does like kind of like the Safari thing where it it just closes that tab essentially, but it keeps the URL. And then when you want to go back to that tab, it'll just reload the page, so you don't waste all of your memory. Um, instead of the alternate where it actually crashes if you run out of memory, which kind of sucks, but that's what it is. Um, so what else was there? iFiles, um, just a file browser of computer or your I'm sorry your I, iPad uh, it actually lets you um, I think it's file dropper it lets you actually like sync up somewhere online and upload download stuff from it oh shit there's my alarm I need to get ready for class but yeah here's all my folders so all my like essentially like solution keys for all my classes and some stuff I need but uh, I think that's gonna be enough for this video if you have any questions please ask and uh, Really appreciate any comments. There's a lot of views in the last one, but not that many comments. I'll try to reply to everything. Thanks. Bye.